Hello pilots, um, I had a request to show a client on how to fold, how I fold my paragliders. I do it a little bit different than most people. Not much, but just a little bit. So let's go ahead and open it up here. I have my brake handles attached to the last in here. Opening this up will kind of show you how it is folded currently. So I just have all the leading edges together, but I have them kind of stair step down. And the same thing with the trailing edge. I do the same kind of thing. Um, the glider's just all together just like that. All together, no fold in half. Put all the lines in the middle. And so what I'm doing when I fold this thing up is I give it when I'm over here and I have this glider out, I don't slide it. What I do is I kind of lift like this. And that's how I bring it together. And then I'll go ahead and get all the, I'll start in the center and I'll bring all the leading edges together. But then I won't bring them all up as I go. I kind of, kind of, they slide that direction. Like that, and then I hold it with one knee. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll strap it. And then I'll just bring these back to the side. And so that's how I do the leading edge. So obviously I fold the glider up, like I was showing you earlier. Get it all together like yay, and then I'll do the leading edge first like this. And then the trailing edge will still be out a little bit. I'll find the center, I mark the center, and then I'll have it, this is out like yay, and it'll be folded mishap, there won't be any rhyme or reason to, when I fold it like I was showing you earlier, but now I'm going to make it more, more realistic, I, I grab where each brake line is, and I bring that as the center point, so all the lines end up in the center, and I do that all the way along the line. And again, it's gonna kind of stair step that direction as the glider uh, gets narrower. And because it's strapped now, I can give it a little bit of tension. Hopefully this uh, camera gets this all. But as you see, I'm making all the, all the brake lines are gonna be in the center. leave that like yay so that's that's this side and I do the same on the other side grab the brake line pull it to the center brake line the center And that's it and then at this stage here I just kind of put this one on top of that one and then I'll start the bottom here and connect her up and then this is where I put my brake handles in the first net connector and then as I'm working my way up I, I push the air out you go the opposite direction, you're going to trap air down on the bottom. OK. 
Okay, that's the first connection. I'll turn on its side now, and I'll run the air out, and I'll put my other snap on. Push the air out. Blast the air out. Cinch up the top. And that's how I do my gliders. Um, I never fold it in thirds. You know, I have a C glider, so I got my leading edge supports. And then I have some C wire that goes to here. So I just fold my glider in half. That's it. And then uh, when I have a rucksack like this, this is a longer than normal rucksack. It's not very thick but it can be, and it actually fits my glider folded in half with my, uh, whether I use that harness or that harness or the XR7 harness, it'll work the same. It all fits in this uh, rucksack just fine. Um, but that's how I do it. GoPro stop.